Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for 2024, I want to start a new segment. I don't know what I'm going to call this segment. I don't know if I'm going to call it like the drama section or the drama segment or like co-parenting advice. Um, and it's just basically stories that I read online and that people ask for their opinions. So give us your opinions. I'm going to read this verbatim. So if there's any grammatical issues, I'm reading it right the way they wrote it. Okay, so it starts off with, okay, I need opinions. I just had my baby boy a week ago. Me and my baby's dad don't get along, but we still try to co-parent. This is his mother's first child and grandchild. His mother wants to take the baby for the night with her. Thing is, my son now is not my first child. He's my third. I always at least wait till my babies have their first set of shots before going into anybody's house, including my own. I don't want this to become an ongoing issue, but I'm also paranoid because of RSV and other viruses that are hitting these kids, these kids hard. So my question is, am I overreacting not wanting my baby to go over there just yet? I read about 35 comments and everyone that commented sided with a mom and I obviously side with the mom as well. And just a little fact, everyone that answered this question was a female, so we don't have the male perspective. And I'm just going to read some of the comments. The first comment is from Sierra and she wrote, a week old is definitely too little to be staying overnight anywhere other than with mom, in my opinion. I totally agree with this opinion. The next comment is from Tara and she wrote, you're not wrong at all. Your baby is a week old. He depends on you more than he will depend on anyone else. You know what's best for your baby. Mama, stick to what feels is best for you. Darlene wrote, why does she need the baby to stay over at such early age? Tell her you're breastfeeding even if you aren't. That's a good excuse not to have a baby away from you. Honestly, I really like this opinion or advice because if I had a baby um, and I, even if I wasn't breastfeeding, I would definitely use this excuse because why is this paternal grandmother wanting to keep the baby overnight? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Amanda wrote, nope, baby wouldn't be staying anywhere. A week old is too early to leave mom. Tell them they can visit, but the baby isn't staying anywhere. Okay, so in my opinion, um, I don't have any kids, but I feel like if I would have kids, I would be the type of mom that would be like, Okay, if you guys are coming over to my house, y'all guys need to be wearing a mask and need to wash your hands. Um, and I probably wouldn't have a lot of visitors coming into my home because a week old baby is like way too young in my per personal opinion. And I've read way too many scary stories that like the baby dies because they catch a virus or disease. Like I remember one time I read a story where this mom had a baby, right? And the mom's sister gave the baby a kiss Okay, this is like the aunt for the baby. So the mom's sister gave the baby a kiss and the baby ended up dying. And it came down to the mom. So here's the mom, here's the sister. The mom's sister's husband was cheating on the, on the aunt, on the lady with, you know, another woman. And he ended up catching like a hepatitis disease. Um, I don't know what type of hepatitis, but he ended up catching a hepatitis disease from, you know, the the lady who, who he was having an affair with and because the hepatitis transferred over to the aunt the aunt ended up giving ended up giving the baby um hepatitis and the, the baby ended up dying so i'm just too paranoid to you know if i were to have a baby to let just randomly people come up and touch my baby. Kaylee wrote, absolutely not it's your baby so your rules still have to learn to respect your boundaries and she like mentioned a key word, um, which is boundaries. So as far as I know, when a child has two living parents that are, you know, like decent parents, they don't have any like um, drug issues or any alcohol or violence issues when they have two living parents, for the most part, the court system doesn't care about the grandparents, doesn't care about the aunts and uncles as far as like how they're going to divide their time. So like, why is this grandmother asking for the baby to stay with her? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I'm going to continue reading comments really, really fast. So someone wrote, I absolutely would not be sending my one week old to stay anywhere, but me, no, you're the mother, you make the decisions, not his mother. 
the next comment says i wouldn't let them take my baby next comment says a thousand percent not overreacting too soon stand your ground and i wrote he's too little in my opinion i didn't even take my own boys out the house until they were at least six weeks not the time of year either too many viruses going on clarissa wrote stick to your gut i didn't and my daughter contacted pertussis which is the whooping cough it was the worst hospital stay i've ever experienced and exactly point being pertussis like the whooping cough that's also I don't know if this is a virus or if it's like a disease or disorder. I want to say it's a virus. I want to say pertussis is a virus, but you know, like point blank period. Like there's so many viruses, you know, RSV, the whooping cough, like you're not going to trust your baby to, you know, just anyone and let them kiss all over your baby. Jordan wrote, uh, no, you're not overreacting. They are dumb for even suggesting an overnight overnight visit already even dogs get eight weeks with their pups before separation why would they expect a human to be separated from their own baby that soon okay girl period even dogs get eight weeks before they are separated from their pups crystal wrote nope my baby is a month old as of today and i don't take her anywhere so we skip family gatherings for christmas and new year's i've only let two people come near my baby which is my mom that brings me stuff that i need for myself and my baby and my younger sister someone wrote something very interesting that i didn't even know about but she wrote any judge that potentially got involved wouldn't even allow until six weeks unless the baby is breastfeeding they wouldn't even recommend until a year so i honestly did not know this um and like i said take it with a grain of salt because every legal system like every state and city is different um and even then like law is very blurry but it says here that like a judge won't even allow an overstate until the baby is at least six weeks and then it says if they are breastfeeding they don't even recommend until a year that is enough reading for today let me know what you guys think down in the comment box don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye guys